Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and today we're going to be looking at the radial filter in Lightroom, and we're going to be using it to get creative and add some drama to an otherwise ordinary image. Here I've got a photo that I took in New York City, and it was taken in the afternoon, and the light is not all that great, but this was the only time that I was able to get to this particular location. And what I'd like to do is make this photo a little more dramatic, give it some pop. I wish I had been there later in the evening when the lights were on, and so I'm going to try to duplicate what I think that effect would be. And we can use the radial filter here in Lightroom to get that sort of an effect. Now I want to try to make this photo look like the evening, so I'm going to take the exposure down a little bit, about one stop or so, and then I'm also going to lower the highlights to bring out all the detail in the sky and maybe open up the shadows just a bit. Now in order to really darken it down, I'm going to switch to the graduated filter and I'm going to add a graduated filter here on the water and the sky and I'm going to take the exposure down even further in this area, maybe just a little bit over two stops. And because I want to make this look like the blue hour just after sunset, I'm going to actually move the temperature slider towards the blue and give it just a bit of a blue tint. Now I'd like it to be just a little bit darker, so I'm going to add a new graduated filter right here on the horizon, but I don't want it to be that dark, so I'm going to just back this one off a little bit, and I'm going to take the blue out of that one. I think just a little bit of blue is enough, and I can turn these off and on to see the effect, and that's what I'm going for. Now that I've got this photo suitably dark and made it look a little bit more like the evening time, then I think we can switch over to the radial filter and start to add some lighting effects. Now in order to use the radial filter this way, there's one key point that we have to remember, and that is to click this checkbox right here to invert mask. This will change the radial filter from acting like a vignette tool to acting like a spotlight tool. So I can go right here on top of this street lamp and drag out a circular area. And now when I adjust the exposure here, we can see it actually almost looks like I'm turning that light on. Now I could reposition this and I can make adjustments to the intensity and even the size of the area that I'm lighting. But in this case, that looks pretty good. The only other thing I wanna do is maybe push the temperature over more towards a yellow color, just to give it that sort of warm glow of the tungsten street lamp. Now I've lit that lamp, I can light these other lamps as well. I'm simply going to go to the pin that controls this radial filter, and I'm going to right click and choose duplicate. Now I've got two of them there, and I can drag the second one down here to the other street lamp. Now this one's a little bit large, so I can reduce the size of this one down. And now I've lit up that street lamp. I can continue right clicking and duplicating and I can drag another one down to the far street lamp. And now I've got three of these lamps lit up. Now notice when I hover over these, you can see the adjustment pins and the controls. But when I move away, the controls are hidden. And that's because I've got this setting right here at the bottom, show edit pins, and I've got it set to auto. With auto, whenever I'm hovering over my image, I'm going to see the pins, and whenever I move off the image, they go away so I can see the adjustments. So now I've got the lamps lit. I'm going to duplicate this one one more time and bring it down here to the sidewalk. I'll change the size and shape just a little bit of this particular one. And I'll even increase the feather just to make a little bit softer light and maybe make that one just a little bit more yellow. There, that looks pretty good. So now I've created a pool of light being cast by this particular lamp. I can duplicate this one down as well and take it down to the next lamp down. And again, I'll want to change the size of this, reduce it to show the perspective, and then maybe duplicate it one more time and take it down to the third one down. And again, I'll need to reduce the size of this one accordingly. So now if I move away, 
we can see that I've created a nice dappled lighting effect using just the radial filter in Lightroom. Now, if I use the backslash key to look at the before and the after, you can see that I've changed the mood of this photo very considerably just by using the local adjustment features within Lightroom and particularly the radial filter to provide a spotlight effect. Remember these key points when you're using the radial filter this way. First of all, use invert mask to cause the radial filter to act more like a spotlight than a vignette. Secondly, remember to use the feather setting to give your lights a softer edge and adjust it accordingly. And third, remember to use other controls besides the exposure. The exposure will give you a brightness or darkness, but you have access to all these other developed controls within the radial filter. Give it a try and experiment, and I'm sure you'll love the results. Thanks for watching, and remember to go to tipsquirrel.com for lots more on Photoshop and Lightroom.